Hey guys, Johnny Harris here. You know, when some people watch Still Standing, they think it's me going around the country with a cameraman, but it takes a lot of hard work from a lot of people in a lot of different departments. Let me tell you a little bit about what exactly is involved in putting together an episode of Still Standing. Well, it all starts at Frantic Films, either in Winnipeg or here in Toronto. When a season starts, the production team begins. Research, coordinating, and story producing is all in action. So as production coordinator, you get a lot of requests. You know, travel, hotel, accommodation, you know, give me a bigger room, give me a kitchenette. So I've devised kind of a simple way to respond to these requests. And it kind of, it either, you know, I either lean to that side, or more often than not, I kind of just, I just lean to this side. Once our stories are in place and dates are booked, the crew and I head out. Fort McMurray was a special episode because there's so much to cover, we had to expand our small team. We added some new faces and brought back some old ones. But most of us have all worked on still standing since the beginning, sometimes spending 16 hours a day with each other for weeks on end. We work together, we eat together, and I guess sometimes we even drink together. We've become a bit of a road family. The camaraderie is great. Everyone's got a great attitude. Yeah. Oh my God. We have a lot of fun together. Cal for Ryan. Go ahead, Cal. Uh, I'm looking for the bee glass for the uh, drone here. Do you know where it might be? Uh, that might be in the satchel bag. Uh, you got eyes on that satchel bag? But the show is also a lot of work. A lot of care goes into it. And there's a lot of attention to detail. With different environments every time, it's easy to run into challenges. We've been setting up for an hour and a half, and now they've decided to bring out the heavy machinery on the field. If you ever are stranded in the desert or on an island or whatever, just try to roll on an interview and somebody will show up out of the blue. It's an incredible phenomenon. But when you see the final image, what we're trying to bring to still standing cinematically, it's all worth it. We also use special toys for perspectives on the town, such as jibbing and droning. We're able to really show off the towns and neighborhoods we visit this way. That's how the show gets done, it's just robots. Right? Yes. Just robots. <laughs> the Fort Mac episode was different. We had a sizable theater this time, so we brought in a lighting director. Like I'm treating that as a set wall. Now that's unlike anything we'd ever done before. It's happening! It's happening! Oh. I, I was just doing font wise. And finally, once we're finished shooting. We are done. Well, sort of not really. We pack up and it goes to our editors. And for that episode, an entire week of shooting, a 45 minute comedy set, it all gets cut down to just 23 minutes. Well, I hope you enjoyed our behind the scenes look at how this show is created. I'm out of breath and hitting the road for season four of Still Standing. Okay, get back to work. All right. Oh,